Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm in the middle of working on the comparison video between the Council Tool Woodcraft Pack Axe and the Husqvarna. I know I said I was going to try to get that out next. I had to break up um, filming it over a couple days just between work and other things going on. The video is pretty much done, so I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. I had this footage sitting, so sit back, enjoy this uh, little review here on the Council Tool Flying Fox, and I will have the video out to you very soon, probably this week. All right, guys, enjoy. All right, what's going on, everybody? We're out here in the beautiful forest. Got a nice river in the background. Uh, so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to test out the Council Tool Flying Fox. Um, in a previous video, I mentioned how I got this. It was uh, part of a promotion with Ris Whiskey River Trading. Spent over $200 on Black Friday. They sent out a Flying Fox. So this is the first time I'm gonna be using it. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think the ax is gonna have more than a lot of potential. We're just gonna do basic camp tasks, things you would do with a, a hatchet. And um, this is pretty much in the factory form. I thought the handle was plenty slim enough for a factory hatchet. And uh, the grind, I didn't change the angle of it yet. I just ran a stone on it and then stropped it. So we'll see how the factory grind is. It seems pretty thin. I might get rid of that speed bump, but uh, yeah, let's get to using it and find out what we want to change or what we want to leave. So just some camp, normal camp tasks you would do. Start splitting up some of this stuff. Pretty dry and stringy. It's So another way you could break this apart is by batoning it. Um, I know normally on a hatchet they don't have a hardened pole, but the uh, Flying Fox has a hardened pole. Um, not saying you can't do this with a regular axe, you're not going to really damage the pole of an axe with a piece of wood, but just figured I'd bring up that feature. Nice. Break this one up again maybe. got uh, some of this split up we'll start working on our kindling maybe sh see how this thing shaves some stuff off not bad I could tell already um, the factory grind it's not bad it definitely um, it's pretty thin in the cheeks so what you know, like when I was batoning the wooden stuff and splitting yeah it gets stuck but at the same time it I imagine it would do good with bucking, but um, you know, once you get around the eye and really start batoning it through the wood, it will really, uh, it, it spreads it apart quick. But as far as this little speed bump here, I think I'm gonna have to take that down. Um, well, I, for, for dead wood anyway. For dead wood, I think I wanna thin this down a little bit. I'm sure with green wood, it would, it would have no problem with the factory grind. So we're gonna continue on with this. Like I said, I think, be a little sharper.
here's my thoughts on the uh, Council Tool Flying Fox. I think it's a great tool. I think it feels really good in the hand. It's very balanced. It did every camp tour I needed it to do. Um, as far as the handle, I don't think I would thin it out any. I really like how thin it is. Um, I see a lot of hardware store hatchets and they're very chunky. Those I would thin down. I think they hit the nail on the head here with handle length, handle shape, and handle thickness. It feels great. You could work good up here. And also too, you could work nice down here and it feels great. Um, as far as the head goes, I love the shape of it. It reminds me of a Plum National. I, I dig that it has a hardened pole. I think it has very good balance. It feels, I don't know, I guess ergonomic in your hand. But uh, the only thing I would do to this when, when I get back to the house is I'm going to thin the cheeks down. Uh, because it is a small axe, I'm not going to be felling big trees with it. I think I can get away with a very thin grind. So I'm noticing in some, especially deadwood for like camp chores and stuff, it's bouncing out of cuts a lot. It does work, but like I said, I think the weight of it is actually helping that. So I'm going to thin that down a bunch. And uh, I, I do have one thing I got to say I'm unhappy with. Another council tool, and I'm not upset about it, it's just, it just kind of bothers me. Just doing some camp chores, I got a slight wiggle out of the head already. I'm going to take the wedge out, rehang it down a little tighter, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the only negative I got to say about the thing. Other than that, I think it's a great tool, and uh, I think if you guys grab one, you'll absolutely enjoy it. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up the uh, Flying Fox review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and got something out of the video. Um, also, too, if you own the Council Tool Flying Fox, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it out of the box or let me know how you modified it. Um, all right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. As always, I appreciate your time. Thank you. This looks so good. This is so sick. <laughs> Flying Fox.